Hello and welcome to another episode of Leave Me Alone, I'm Busy Farming. Had to shake things up a bit and take care of the dogs. Man's best friend, you know? Got to take care of them. So today, no, no, Hugh and I are building or starting to make the dog run. So what we're gonna do, we've got some four by four by eight foot posts. We're gonna post it out. Then we got some brackets to mount the two by fours in between the posts. And we're gonna get some, uh, horse wire and staple it to it. All right, we'll come back at you when we got the other ones. Hey, that's a nice hat you got there. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Fencing. Fencing. Yeah, not Olympic style. All right, we'll see you in a moment. All right, so here we are. We got our first couple of posts, Doug. We started in our highest corner. We're working our way in. And what we're kind of doing is they have these brackets here. We got them at Home Depot. They're like a little uh, sh like a little channel that you screw right in and it holds the two by four in. That's how we're doing it exactly. So instead of each section being eight foot on center, it's exactly eight foot from inside edge to inside edge. And the great part about these, plenty of holes to put screws in. A lot of options to really strengthen it up. And on the sides, they're dynamite. All right. So we got one started here. We're just gonna drive it in. Just hold it right against and boom, there's one. And then here we go. Okay. And what's nice is you can really get it flush with the edge, so you know a nice clean edge on the uh, outside of the post. Our game plan is to get some uh, horse wire, the rolls of it, Harbor Freight, Home Depot, they all have it pretty inexpensive. About 40 bucks to 80 bucks for a 100 foot roll of it, we're gonna cut it up into straight shots and then bury it down about three inches. That way the pups can't get out. You know, you gotta take care of man's best friend. All right, well, we'll see you in a little bit when we come back and uh, hopefully we'll have a little more done. We're see you then. Day two, yesterday, day one, we got rained out, but we got, a, we got a foreman today on the job here. He's gonna keep us organized and working and we'll get it finished there. So there he is, there's our site foreman. He is right there just watching us work away but we got 10 posts dug it's my wife in the background in her pajamas i'm sure she loves that uh 10 posts dug we have seven to do today and the gate so we'll do that we'll have our dog run set and then tomorrow we'll uh put the uh horse wire on it all right we'll come back for the gate so at the end of day three we obviously built the gate we did a frame out of two by fours and then a cross. It was really easy. You laid them on top of your squared off frame, drew an angle, cut the angles, screwed it in with two and a half inch screws. Worked real well. Then as you can see, I trenched out the depth of the fence fabric. We used horse fabric, which is really just a thin gauge of metal and we buried it down between four and eight inches depending on the height and the gradient of the slope. That's what makes this fence dig resistant. So having that all done, the pups really have to dig and if they start digging down, they have to go eight inches down and even then they catch the edge of the fabric. So. You wouldn't obviously want to leave your dogs out there unattended. But to finish the inside, I'm going to lay weed block and put stones there. That'll also stop them from digging. Hope you enjoyed this part of the video. All right, how we doing? This is Gerald from Leave Me Alone. I'm busy farming. We're out here at the end of day three. I just got showered and cleaned up. So let me show you where we're at. Fence uh, <laughs> is going in well, but... Mother Nature is not cooperating. We've been rained out all three days. Working in the rain with the mud, not pleasant. But we've been cracking on. Let me show you. All right. So here you can see it. And sorry about the quality. I'm using my phone as a light. We, to add some stability, because we were using the lighter wire, decided to add a run on the bottom. We use the same as the top, so it's got these brackets on the top and the brackets on the bottom. 
We're gonna end up breaking this up into a two-part video because of how long it's taken. But as you can see, we were able to knock out about 90% of it. So we decided to call it a day because uh, no, no, Hugh and I were gassed. We got a nice, nice square gate here. There we go. Closes nicely. And this is the dog run. Like I said, got to take care of man's best friend. All right. So I'm going to hit you guys up with part two of the video. So we'll post this. Part two will be filling in the trenches, cutting the caps, and mounting the solar lights. This has been the dig resistant fence build. As you can see, we kind of trenched it out here and it's great. We can keep our pups from getting out. All right. And as always, leave me alone. I'm busy farming. We'll catch you next time. Have a good one.